all right everybody time for another video uh the subject of this video is going to be uh, people not wanting you to uh put your personal business out there and i'll tell you straight up why i put my personal business out there is because i've been dealing with depression uh, panic attacks insomnia uh, anxiety for 43 years i'm 56 years old uh, but i like to make videos and i like to put them out there in hopes that it'll reach one person if i if, if this video reaches one person and it encourages them to go get help or to tell their story uh it's it's all worth it um but i've had people tell me oh you don't need you don't need to put that on there because so-and-so is going to see it and you know they're going to be upset and worried and and all that uh well goddamn what about me i mean i'm the one that's having to live this shit i've been having to live this shit for 43 years but i don't want to hurt nobody's feelings or i don't i don't want to make somebody worry uh it's, uh, that's not how this shit works if you can help somebody you help them and um like I said, it's, it's it's just one of those things where, you know, people think you're putting too much out there. They think that uh, it's foolish to put your personal business out there. I think it's foolish not to. Uh, we need to bring as much attention as we can to uh, mental illness. Um, you know, people are... There's... People has killed themselves today over depression. Every day, somebody's killing themselves. Uh, and and I mean, what, what do you do? What can you do? I mean, people tell them not to talk about it. But what if they had talked about it? What if they had talked about it and it 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 made them feel it made them feel better. And who knows, it might keep them from killing themselves. But telling somebody not to talk about something is like saying, hey, keep all this shit bottled up inside of you. Keep it all bottled up in and uh, and just, you know, don't say nothing. No, that's not how that works. Uh, you do what you feel like you need to do. There is somebody out there that will talk to you. Most people have a friend that's uh been through depression uh or is going through depression and that would be the perfect person to talk to because they've been through depression and they understand they understand what you're going through and uh so pick a friend pick a family member pick somebody but talk about it talk 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 uh don't keep it bundled up inside uh I get pissed off thinking about it. I mean, it's like I said, you know, I don't, I don't want to make, I don't want to make somebody nervous. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to make somebody worry. But like I said, what about me? I've been having to live with this shit for forty-three years. Okay, let that sink in. Forty-three fucking years. I lost my childhood when I was thirteen. When my mother died, my daddy was an over-the-road trucker. So I had to become an adult overnight. I was 13. By the time I was 15, it's the depression, the severe panic attacks, all that kicked in and it has never gone away. Uh, it never got any better. Uh, I will never be cured. Uh, the only thing I can do for the rest of my life is... Um, control my symptoms with medication and uh that's another thing find you a good doctor find you a good therapist uh research the doctor or the therapist you're gonna you're gonna see because uh, it's very important you get somebody good uh i lucked up i got a wonderful doctor um she's not afraid to uh change my medications if she thinks it's not working uh, she's not afraid to change my milligrams if she feels like it's not strong enough or if it's too strong. Uh, 
But people, for the love of God, don't shut your mouth about this shit just because somebody else tells you to. Okay? So this this is, I'm very passionate about this. And, you know, but the, the people that tell you that kind of crap have never been through depression. So they don't get it. They just don't get it. And you cannot read a book. You can't pick up a book and read about depression and then, oh, I know about depression. No, you don't know shit. You don't know shit until you've been through it. That's like, that, that'd that be like me trying to tell a woman what it feels like to have a baby. How in the hell would I know? Okay? All I would know is what I read out of a book. I wouldn't know anything about the pain, uh, how, you know, how bad it hurts. Um... But, people, live your lives the best you can. If you need help, and you know if you need help or not, go find you a good doctor. Find you a good therapist, uh, a family member, a friend. Find somebody to talk to because if you keep it, if you keep it bottled up, it's it's kind of like a pressure cooker. If it didn't have that little vent up on the top of it, you know what happened to a pressure cooker? It's going to explode. Okay, now, so you need to let the pressure out. Find somebody to talk to. Live your life the best as you can. And uh, just all I can say is love each other, support each other, and uh, and just do the best you can. And uh, I guess I'm going to wrap the video up right here. And uh, I just... Please forgive me because I got I got a little bit frustrated making this video because um, it just don't make sense that you know people want you to be quiet when you need to be doing the opposite. So anyway, everybody have a great evening, and I will see y'all on the next video. Thank you.